I built my very first loudspeaker when I was just a boy. So I was maybe 14, 15 years old. And that put me on a trajectory to where I am right now. Through the years, I've built all kinds of loudspeakers. So from traditional two-way loudspeakers, bass reflex loudspeakers, to multi-way loudspeakers, active loudspeakers, dipole loudspeakers, horn speakers, vinyl arrays. So basically every kind of speaker, I've at least experimented with it. The goal for me has always been to make the perfect loudspeaker, whatever that may be. But now if you made the perfect loudspeaker, if you actually pulled it off, and you put this perfect loudspeaker in an actual room, it wouldn't necessarily sound perfect because there's a lot of interaction going on between this loudspeaker and the room. So we're not just listening to the loudspeaker, we're listening to the loudspeaker plus its interaction with the room. The 8C is a very accurate loudspeaker. There are, however, other loudspeakers that are also very accurate. However, the 8C was optimized and designed from the ground up to interact very favorably with the room so that the room interaction has less of an effect on the actual sound you hear. The 8C is a three-way loudspeaker with built-in amplification, DACs, and a DSP, a digital signal processor. Now, if you want to get your audio into the 8C, you use the analog audio input or its digital audio input. In the front of the 8C, you'll find a tweeter on a waveguide and a cardioid mid-range. On the back of the enclosure, you'll find two 8-inch woofers. The 8C is an active loudspeaker, and each of the driver types has its own amplifier. The tweeter has 250 watts. The mid-range also has 250 watts. The woofers in the back have 500 watts. The crossover for those drivers is done with a digital signal processor. The crossover between the tweeter and the mid-range is at an unusually low 1250 hertz. The reason we're crossing over this low is because we want to match the directivity of the tweeter to that of the 8-inch cardioid mid-range. The mid-range driver runs from 1250 hertz down to 100 hertz. And below that frequency, the drivers in the back take over. Our software system is called Clerk, which has been under development for about four years. The main features of Clerk are DSP programming, uh, cloud logging, network settings, update system, synced audio streaming, and a control interface in the browser. In the cloud, we store what the speaker does, basically, so that when problems arise, we can identify what caused it. The synced audio stream means the audio is sent from one device to the next in perfect synchronization. For Martin's speaker development, we have something called String Master. String Master allows for crossover filtering. The frequency response of each driver can be adjusted by String Master. The combined response of all the drivers can also be adjusted. We also have a user interface called Land Speaker. Land Speaker allows for room matching, updates, parametric EQs, general settings, and settings per group or individual speaker. Uh, to run all this software, we have a purpose-use computer. It has a ARM processor running Linux, and this computer board attaches to the DSP board. There are currently five people in the software department, uh, and I guess there are about 30,000 lines of code. Well, sometimes it's stressful, but overall, it's very satisfying. One of the most unusual aspects of the 8C is that we're using a cardioid mid-range. The reason it's a cardioid has to do with the slots in the sides. At low and low mid frequencies, a traditional loudspeaker radiates its sound in all directions more or less equally. The result of that is that you get a lot of reflections in the room. So unlike a traditional loudspeaker, a cardioid loudspeaker actually focuses its sound more towards the listener and less toward walls and around the room. The woofers in the 8C are in a closed cabinet. That's quite unusual because what you usually see is a bass reflex. That means there is a port. The benefit of a sealed box is that the bass is tighter. It actually extends down to 20 hertz, the bottom of the audio band. Normally you only get that with big floor standards. Another thing that's very unusual about the 8C is that it has its woofers in the back instead of the front. A traditional loudspeaker usually sounds best when you move it far out into the room. Now, with the 8C, it actually works best when it's relatively close to the front wall. The woofers in the back, they actually couple with the front wall. The wall and the speaker become a single system. The result of that is that the wall and the woofers together and the speaker together, they generate a very phased coherent first wave front. Now, what's the benefit of that? You get cleaner, tighter, more powerful bass. So here's another thing about the bass. Because the speaker is very close to the wall and the wall becomes part of the speaker, the wall helps in generating the bass wave. And a result of that is that you can actually play louder in the bass than with a traditional loudspeaker. At the other end of the spectrum, the tweeter, which handles the highs. It's housed in a waveguide. A waveguide serves several purposes. The first of which 
is to continue the ductility of the cardio mid-range driver. The second of which is that it boosts the output at the lower end of its passband. This means that the tweeter can actually be crossed lower and can play louder. And finally, it provides for a smooth wave lounge for less diffraction at the battle edges. I'm really happy with how the HC turned out. If my 15-year-old self could see what we've achieved with the HC, he would be absolutely thrilled.